Hi, Taurus. This is Lucky with Lucky Sevens Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. This is your March 2021 uh, general reading for love and money uh, for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and these messages could resonate for you anywhere where you have Taurus in your natal chart. We are going to do a love spread and a money spread, okay? You can enter to win the free mini cardology report that I'm offering two of my subscribers at the end of the month, and all you have to do to enter to win is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment hashtag Team Taurus in the comment section down below. If you want to book a private reading with me, they are available on my website, lucky 7 That link is also down below in the description box. You can join my membership for exclusive videos uh, for each Zodiac sign that I do every month and a lot of other fun stuff. There's coupon codes for personal readings, all of that. Uh, that link is down below and there's a join button on my channel page. But this month I am offering something new and hopefully super exciting for some of you. Um, I am going to offer an extended reading to this video. So if you are interested and this reading really resonates with you and you just want to know more about this reading specifically, uh, I will be going into more detail on that in the extended version of this reading. And the link will be in the description box below so you can get that if you're interested. All right, let's get into this, guys. Your first uh, spread, like I said, is going to be about love, and then we will get into money. Now, uh, what I want you to know is in reference to love, first of all, any of these messages can be reversed. It can be your energy or someone else's energy towards you. Um, and these can resonate for you in love in general. So it doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be a family relationship, a friendship, what have you. All right. Bottom of the deck, you've got the five of wands in reverse, um, the devil reverse, Capricorn energy. You've got Gemini energy with the lovers reversed and the hierophant reverse. So looking at this, I feel like you guys are getting out of a place of either something toxic in your life or um, I feel like there's a decision that you're making. It could be to end a relationship or there is a relationship that has ended. I feel like things are coming together for you um, based on this ending and like getting out of this space, all right? Getting out of something that may have been toxic or leaving someone alone that was toxic. Let's see. Your first message, you have judgment. You've got the, uh, judgment is in reverse. You've got the three of swords. You've got the nine of pentacles reversed. You've got the chariot. And if you guys, this is a new deck. I did make a whole video about it. If you're interested in this deck that uh, it's available on my website. All right. Uh, you've got the four of pentacles and the two of pentacles reversed. Let's see what the most most important messages and that kind of just flipped over the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy as your most important message let's push these up a little bit hopefully you guys can see these clearly all right taurus let's talk about this at the bottom of the deck taurus you do have the ten of cups i actually really really love this energy uh, it tells me that there's some harmony coming in, uh, some sort of abundance coming into your love life. But I feel like it's where it comes from leaving something behind, like making a final decision about the past. And it may be something that could have been heartbreaking or very disappointing. I feel like some of you guys may even have dealt with like a third party situation here. Um, but I also see you moving on. You know, I see you moving on. I see you finding success with forward movement. I feel like um, for a lot of you, this may have been something that you were trying to hold on to or somebody could have been trying to hold on to you. But I feel like you don't want to be juggled with. You're not playing anymore. You're not playing any games. And I think that now you're ready to take action to move forward. So let's see. Why is judgment here reversed? 
And you've got the Queen of Cups reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But this also talks about maybe your emotions, you know, like not being in control of your emotions. Um, and there's your energy with the King of Pentacles. So you guys are really in a good place. This could be that you are making a decision to walk away from someone like you're losing the feeling and the emotion that you once had or had attached to the situation. I feel like you're seeing things for what they really are, you know, with the four of cups reversed here. And you're realizing like something is not stable and it's not going to, uh, it's not something you're moving forward with. So let's see why the three of swords is here for Taurus. And you've got the nine of swords in reverse. That's exactly how we want to see the nine of swords, guys. This talks about getting over any sort of worry or stress or anxiety um, about a relationship in your life that you gave a lot to. Like you put a lot of effort into this and now you're not even going to, I think there was some hurt here. Somebody hurt you. Um, for some of you, if you're a cross watcher watching, remember these messages can be reversed. So, but I feel like somebody hurt you. I feel like, um, and you you're realizing that you deserve better and you're moving on from it. Like you're not going to let this continue to hold you back. Why is the nine of pentacles reversed? And you've got the queen of swords reversed, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But this also talks about a feeling of being bitter, um, feeling some sort of bitterness, you know, possibly because there's something that you know, has caused you to lose confidence. All right. Um, I feel like you guys have fought for something. Could be with a Capricorn that may not be vibrating at their highest level vibration. You've also got Gemini energy here. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like they might not be vibrating at their highest level vibration, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, and you're kind of, I think you're just letting go of the past. Some of you guys, I think you're building a wall up around yourself to try to protect your energy. All right. Uh, and others, there could, you know, it could have been a very big fight, you know. Um, but I think you're, you don't want to be any sort of, you don't want to be associated with any sort of toxicity any longer. There's a chariot here. You got the chariot with the tower in reverse. Yeah. You guys want to avoid disaster and fallout. You just want to move on and be happy. Some of you could even be traveling um, this month, but I feel like there's definitely some sort of change, you know, uh, maybe you're getting over a fallout of this situation, all right? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? You got the Four of Pentacles with the Hermit Virgo energy. And this tells me that somebody is feeling very alone, isolated. Um, and this definitely could be you, whether someone has tried to hold on to you or you try to hold on to them, or we're just trying to, this could even be like an unwillingness to hold on to, or a willingness to like, hold on to information, uh, resentment, anything like that. But I see that somebody tried to get away with something. Somebody was, is being sneaky and it, it may have caused a betrayal and a very, very harsh ending. You could have had really harsh words for someone or they had this for you. Um, and this is definitely something I feel like that is almost tormenting to someone in, in a way, you know, it's kind of caused a lot of drama in this situation. Um, and somebody, like I said, is feeling alone. All right. Uh, because there, there's, I feel like a betrayal, uh, that has happened here and caused a huge disappointment in the situation. Why is the two of pentacles reversed here for Taurus and Taurus, you've got the three of wands, um, in the upright and the full reversed. So I feel like you don't want to, you know, the, there might have been something up in the air and you could have been waiting for things to change, you know. But I also see that 
it's kind of something that isn't, you know, maybe somebody was afraid to take a risk. But I feel like you you're waiting for some sort of manifestation of what you want. And it's actually coming in. Okay. It's coming in. I do feel like there could be a lot of confusion, you know, that you're trying to get through, or you feel like you don't have any other options. Maybe you just don't want to be an option to this person and you don't want to be juggled with. You don't want to be played with. All right. And so I see an ending here that may be beneficial to your future. Why is the King of Wands here for Taurus as the most important message? And there's that Seven of Cups again, uh, guys, in the reverse. Okay, so this is, again, that energy of pushing forward uh, from something where there's no more confusion about the situation. You guys are, you know, I think you're you're standing in your power, okay? Um, I do feel like you don't, you may be bringing some sort of drama or instability to a halt. Okay. There could definitely be some communication about us, the stability of a relationship that's significant in your life. And I feel like in order to be happy, you have to, you know, you have to move on, um, from this. Let's get some extra messages here before we get into your career and money. Why is the King of Wands here with the Seven of Pentacles or Seven of Cups? Sorry, reversed. Wow. And it's funny because if you rewind the video, the strength card reverse was behind the Seven of Cups when I when that came out. And here it is again showing up. I feel like there is a, a sincere lack of confidence. Um, or this thing has shaken your confidence in something or someone. And I see somebody trying to like manipulate the situation. I feel like there's somebody trying to be the puppet master in this. Um, and it, it's definitely caused some discord in, uh, in a relationship that's significant for you. Okay. I do feel like somebody was trying to give to this. Okay. And I see you guys having like a brand new opportunity for some positive changes that come from this situation that stem from this. All right. Let's get, um, I want to talk about judgment reversed and the queen of cups. Why is this here for Taurus judgment reversed and the queen of cups reversed the ace of swords. Okay. So there was something from the past, all right, that got brought up. And I feel like maybe somebody's emotions were everywhere and the truth was revealed, okay? Um, and this could have caused someone here to cut, to make the decision to cut somebody out of their life um, because there was a lack of stability in this relationship, I feel like. This may have even caused you or another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo to not feel stable. Um, but I do see harmony coming in. I see abundance coming in through some sort of separation uh, or breakup or ending to a commitment that you have here. But I feel like, honest to God, I really do feel like for many of you, there might have been like a moment where someone has snapped. Somebody snapped and, or they are, and it doesn't, maybe for some of you, because this is for March, 2021. So maybe for some of you, this hasn't even happened yet, but I feel like somebody snaps, somebody goes off because it should, maybe they learn the truth about something from the past. Um, tell me about the chariot and the tower reversed and you've got the fool in reverse. So and the magician reverse. Oh, there is some level of manipulation you guys are dealing with. Somebody, you know, that may be lying to you, lying on you. Um, and you're you're avoiding disaster by like removing that situation from your space and kind of moving on from it. Okay. I feel like you're not trusting your intuition here. All right. Um, 
you're not trusting your intuition and for some of you this could even have to do with a child or having to do with somebody not wanting to walk away from a child hmm or someone younger maybe somebody being childish why is the four of pentacles here with the hermit and you've got the three of pentacles reverse. I feel like there's a lack of harmony. Um, something is just not coming together. Maybe you're not getting the recognition you deserve, but I see a brand new beginning, um, a new path illuminating for you. But I think you guys have been feeling stuck and very unfortunate and kind of have your guard up. And I think you're struggling with the loss uh, that makes you feel very alone something that maybe you're having difficulty letting go of. Why is the nine of cups reversed and the queen of swords reversed here for Taurus? And you've got the five of pentacles. So I feel like somebody is really grieving here, but they're not, it's like they're not seeing the bigger picture. Somebody feels, definitely feels very, very bitter. Um, about the situation and wants to bring all negativity, all drama to an end. They're not offering love. They're not offering stability. You know, they don't want to move forward with this because they feel betrayed. Somebody was being sneaky and doing something, you know, that wasn't acting with integrity. And I feel like someone in this situation, whether this is you or the person towards you, feels like they gave enough. They put in enough and they're not going to continue to be taken advantage of. I feel like someone definitely feels taken advantage of here um, in this situation. Okay. Let's get, let's move on to career and uh, money and see what spirit wants you to know. What does Taurus need to know for March, 2021 regarding career and money? Thank you, spirit. All right, Taurus, bottom of the deck, the page of swords. So you got the page of swords, the queen or queen. Listen, I can't talk today. You've got the seven of cups reversed, judgment reversed, and the tower. So you could be getting some sort of clear communication or like a, an epif having an epiphany moment. Um, I feel like you may be at an end or there's like some form of a surprise change within your career or within your, uh, within your money, right? Maybe you're feeling like you don't have options. Okay. Your first message is the two of wheels or pentacles. You've got the six of swords, the page of wheels reversed, the queen of wands reversed. the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Wheels reversed. Let's see what your most important message is regarding career and money. What's the most important thing Taurus needs to know for March? And you've got the Knight of Wheels, okay? Your most important message. Bottom of the deck, the world in reverse. So Taurus, you, I definitely see you guys almost feeling like maybe there's some sort of struggle um, that you might be having right now. You could definitely be juggling two jobs or uh, juggling financially, um, maybe not feeling the most financially secure that you want to be. You know, you could be in a situation where you may not even be vibrating at your highest level of vibration because of something uh, that could even be just up in the air, you know, with the two of pentacles here. But I feel like there's something that maybe you're not taking any sort of action with, right? However, I see you guys moving forward um, and making some significant changes. And overall, 
I feel like there's a new opportunity that is coming in very slowly that's going to help you to get unstuck from an unchanging situation or a disappointment. Uh, I feel like with, sorry guys, I thought I turned uh, the volume on my phone off and I did not. All right. Um, with the three of wheels reversed, I just think that there's something that isn't coming together for you, but you're not, maybe you're not seeing that this loss of an opportunity or whatever that isn't working out is actually leading you to a brand new beginning that has more potential for growth. Let's see why the two of wheels is here. And you've got the seven of wands reversed. So Taurus, I see you guys kind of giving up on something, maybe because you are juggling between two jobs or two opportunities or whatever you are giving up on here was too much of a burden. It may have been costing you more than you were getting out of it. Okay. You could have had financial difficulty um, and maybe had to spend more money than, like I said, than you were getting, uh, than you were getting from it. Okay. For those of you business owners, you could be closing your business, um, because it, because of COVID, um, some of you have left or are leaving an opportunity that just wasn't paying you what you were worth or, uh, what your time, you know, the time that you were giving to it. Why is the six of swords here? You got the six of swords with the seven of cups reversed. I see you moving forward, right? Um, and getting clear about leaving something behind, but you've got to make these final decisions uh, in the situation. And I feel like there is definitely going to be some healing from this missed op or, you know, this lost opportunity or whatever it is that you're giving up on. But I do see that you guys gave so much to this. And you realize it's not growing. And I feel like that might be causing you not to uh, not to feel good about the situation. It's like, man, I put all this time and effort into it and it didn't pay off. Um, why is the page of wheels here? You could feel like you don't have any opportunities. You got the page of wheels reversed with the ten of wands. I feel like this is a, a huge burden or weight on your shoulders, okay? Um, and things don't seem to be coming together. It's, it's more of more of a, a restriction, more of a burden than it is a blessing. And I think you guys have been feeling very, very stuck, but you need to trust your intuition because... I definitely see that, yes, this is disappointing, but I also feel like this is leading you to a new opportunity and you need to take what you've learned from this situation so that you can manifest a different uh, opportunity for yourself. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed? The Ace of Cups reversed. So there could be you know, the loss from this opportunity and you guys like walking away from something that is no longer growing for you actually does bring about um, abundance in your career, abundance within your finances. OK, there's going to be this need to take a risk and trailblaze this brand new path, because I feel like this is what's going to be, manif you know, help you to manifest the abundance you want. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Some of you guys could even be leaving a job to open a business, you know, and maybe you're afraid to do that, but it's like, you've got to just take the risk and you've got the High Priestess. All right. So the High Priestess, and then look at that, the Ten of Cups. I think that there's positive change here, but you've got to trust yourself. You've got to trust that you're going to make the right decisions for yourself to take the risk. All right. I think that there's going to be a huge opportunity that comes in for you guys when you decide that there's something you no longer want to work on or give your energy or, you know, it, it's beating a dead horse for you. Okay. And you got to take this leap of faith. Why is the queen of wheels here reversed? 
and you've got the world reverse that was at the bottom of the deck several times and then uh as when the most important message came out and then now it's coming out clarifying your energy with the nine of wands i definitely see you guys feeling stuck and uh trying to protect yourself you know maybe trying to save as much money as you can not spending as much as you were um changing up your habits things like that because you feel like there's this loss of opportunity or loss of money, security, something that just really is not growing and it's something that maybe you're not happy with. But I do see abundance coming in, but maybe you're not seeing it. You know, I see harmony coming back into your finances or within your career, but I also feel like you might be very focused on one area and what you don't have and what isn't working that you're not seeing the bigger picture and the blessing that is being bestowed upon you with the four of cups. You could also be having a very stubborn type of energy. Um, why is the Knight of Wheels here as the most important message for Taurus for March 2021, career and money? Look at that. Guys, exactly what I have been saying, the Ten of Swords in reverse there will be healing from this ending. There will be healing from what may feel like a missed or lost opportunity. It's coming in slow, but it's stable. All right. Um, I feel like maybe you have, you're partnering with someone. You could definitely be uh, partnering. Look at that. You partner with someone and go from the queen of pentacles reverse to the king of pentacles in the upright guys, I think that you've got to make a decision to let go of something that maybe you committed yourself to. It's over. It's ending. And it doesn't feel good. I know it feels unfair, but I think that it's a blessing. I think it's a huge blessing. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords reversed for Taurus. The Ace of Wheels reversed. And the devil reverse. Listen, you guys are getting unstuck from a situation that feels very unstable. And it's going to be healing. It's going to be healthy for you. It's going to help grow your security. Okay? I feel like right now you're in a space where maybe you feel very conflicted about what to do. You could feel like you have you don't have the ability to manifest the outcome you want because you're not seeing any positive changes here, but the changes are coming. You've got to be the change that you want to see in your career and within your, your finances, all right? It starts with you. So what decisions are you making here that are going to be beneficial to you in the future? Let's see what action and guidance messages Spirit has for you. What does Taurus need to know for... March 2021. Taurus, look at that. Don't compromise. Don't settle for less than what you know you deserve, guys. And at the bottom of the deck, you've got take action. So now is the time for you to take some level of action to create the change you want to see. You know, it's time to go for what you know. Beware of gossip. So people could be talking about you. Um, talking, you know, negatively about your situation, whether this is a, a love situation or talking negatively about, you know, people like to see others fail when they're doing bad in their own life, right? They never want to see other people succeed further than them, you know? And when that happens and you're on the, you know, on the other end of it, it can really take a toll, okay? So I feel like you need to be aware that these people are saying whatever it is that they're saying, but you also need to understand that that is a reflection of them and not a reflection of you. Don't let their gossip and the negative things they're saying deter you from where you're going, all right? Now, this is also a message to you saying, beware of your own gossip. So if you are talking negatively about someone else. I feel like that is going to come full circle for you. Okay. It always does. Spirit is telling you at the bottom of the deck, you need to be fair in the situation. Be impartial. See things from every side. All right. Be fair to yourself and anyone else involved. 
Let's see. What else do you have for Taurus for March 2021? Taurus, you need to try to have a deeper level of understanding of the bigger picture and what is going on here and why it is happening in your life. All right. It's leading you somewhere. But I feel like this is something where you need to heal. There's something deep, maybe a deep rooted issue here that needs to be healed from. All right. And I think that maybe it's being exposed to you right now. I am going to get one message for you from the good karma jar, guys. Let's see. What is the most important thing Taurus needs to know for the month of March 2021, Taurus? All right, Taurus, your most important message this month and the one thing you need to hear is honesty saves everyone's time. Honesty saves everyone's time, whether you need to be honest and own up to the things that maybe you've done wrong or someone else needs to be honest to you so that you can make your own decisions accordingly. That's what needs to happen here. Okay. Um, but spirit is saying that there's some level of honesty that needs to, you know, some things need to be exposed down to the root so that they can be pulled all the way out, all right? Um, so be honest with yourself and anyone else involved in whatever it is that you're dealing with this month, and you will save yourself some sort of time in the future from having to go through the same thing over and over and over again, you know, maybe wishing for a different result, okay? All right, guys, I am going to start on the extended version of this reading and get into more detail regarding your love and your career and money. If you want to watch that video, the link is in the description box below, and I will see you there, hopefully. For everyone else, I wish you all the love and success that you can hold this month. I thank you so much for joining me on my channel and your support. I hope that you will like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. I love you and I hope you're loving on yourself. All right, guys. Peace, love, and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.